after this video lesson, you are expected to explain the second law of thermodynamics and its significance. From the second law of thermodynamics, we know that if the change in entropy is positive, the process is spontaneous. If the change in entropy is negative, the process is non-spontaneous. And if the change in entropy is zero, the process is in equilibrium. The absolute entropy of the substance can be determined by the application of the third law of thermodynamics. According to this law, a perfect crystal has zero entropy at absolute zero. It means that entropy change of solid is equal to zero at zero Kelvin. This makes the entropy value of a substance at a given temperature an absolute value. It is equivalent to the entropy change for the substance when heated from absolute zero to the desired temperature and has the unit joule per mole Kelvin. The exact entropy change for any process can be determined in the same way as the enthalpy change for the reaction using standard absolute entropies at 25 degrees Celsius and one atmosphere instead of enthalpies of formation. Just be mindful of the states of a particular element or compound. For example, the standard absolute entropies of water in gaseous state is deeper from the absolute entropies of water in liquid state, which are positive 188.83 and 69.91 respectively. In evaluating entropy chains of the system, we use the formula entropy change reaction is equal to entropy change of products subtracted by the entropy change of reactants or by symbol it is denoted by entropy change reaction is equal to summation products subtracted by summation of reactants where n is the stoichiometric coefficient of the species i in the balanced chemical reaction. For this theoretical equation, Pa plus Qb yields Mc, the capital letter represents the species. A species can be elements or compounds, while the small letters represent the stoichiometric coefficient or number of moles. Thus, using the summation formula, Entropy change of the reaction is equal to number of moles of species C multiplied by the standard absolute entropy of species C minus number of moles of species A multiplied by the standard absolute entropy of species A plus number of moles of species B multiplied by the standard absolute entropy of species B. Now, let's try to evaluate entropy with this problem. Calculate the change in entropy at the standard state and 25 degrees Celsius that accompanies the reaction. And the reaction is carbon, which is in solid form, and that is graphite, plus carbon dioxide yields 2 moles carbon monoxide. The standard absolute entropy of graphite is 6 Joule per mole Kelvin. Carbon dioxide is 214 Joule per mole Kelvin and carbon monoxide is 198 Joule per mole Kelvin. We can now substitute the values using the formula summation products subtracted by summation reactants. So we have 2 moles of carbon monoxide multiplied by 198 Joule per mole Kelvin minus 1 mole carbon multiplied by 6 Joule per mole Kelvin plus 1 mole of carbon dioxide multiplied by 214 Joule per mole Kelvin. Cancel all moles together and we have 176 Joule 
per Kelvin. Now, it's time to challenge yourselves by answering this problem. What is the entropy change to make one mole of sulfur trioxide for the reaction sulfur dioxide gas plus one half oxygen gas yields sulfur trioxide gas? The standard absolute entropy of sulfur dioxide is 248.2 joule per mole Kelvin. For oxygen, it is 205.0 joule per mole Kelvin. And for sulfur trioxide, it is 256.8 joule per mole Kelvin. Good luck everyone! I hope that you have learned a lot from this video lesson. Goodbye!